So how's it going? Today I'm going to show you a little trick on the Lesus uh, Strike Pro SE or probably any of the drum sets they make. I have most of them here in my studio where I test and review and do everything drums. Pretty much all the drum sets they have, I probably have most of them here. So I found this little trick. It's a Boya condenser microphone. And what you do is you plug it into the aux input of the strike or probably any of the other models. I actually try them all. And you can take this hi-hat, the rubber one, and now you can put an acoustic one there. And all you do is control the volume with the aux knob controls it. So you can clip it ambient in your room and far away. have a acoustic hi-hat if noise ain't a problem when it's not you can clip it on your shirt then you can so I'll keep it kind of decent low so it's not overpowering <laughs> Also, my it plays great because <laughs> it's an actual cymbal. My ride cymbal is really loud. So. It's nice. It works good. You can blend. You can blend the actual symbols in. I've played with the AK Dark Rides, the the K, other all the rides, different hi hats, um, different crashes. It works great. And I still like to go back to my rubber symbols because it's nice at night. Um, it's not. It sounds not a problem here. I just like the the sound so you can load and I have mine tuned pretty good. It works good, but this is nice if you want to play with actual cymbals. I'm working on taking uh, a low volume cymbal and mounting it onto these cymbals and seeing how it works that way. It, it seems to work laying it on top. So when you hit the cymbal, you get the, the feel. And like the new uh, Strata Prime has rubber cymbals, but the new Zildjian uh, E-Kit has the low volume cymbals and I see they have them mounted on top and they still have the, the rubber underneath. So I figured why not try to do that. Just take the low volume cymbal and put them at the top of these and you can use some double sided foam tape to, to make it to fill the gap. And they seem to respond well. So I'm working on that too, but always trying to think of something cool. So hope you have a good one and check out my channel. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll help you out and have a good one. market like a microphone that's made into the cage and you could just turn them on and I literally had this clipped onto my cage you can clip it down below anywhere you just use it mounted there and it works great so have a good one <laughs>
uh, I have my Lisa Strike Guitar SD here, and I'm going to show you how I took the rubber cymbals, put them aside for now, and I come up with something. It's a, a Boya condenser microphone, lapel microphone, and you plug it into the aux input. Now you have full control over the so like me I'm always doing content in YouTube so I need the microphone so I figured why not add it to the U kit uh, I think it works with most of them that have an aux input you plug it in it has a battery you turn it on and you can play it like across the room it picks up really good like I'm talking now you can turn the microphone up higher if you want it loud cage down below and leave it there on the rack and leave it at a low volume and it'll pick up all the cymbals. I play the rides. I've had crashes, scratch. So I'll show you what I do is I just clip it onto my shirt and play away. might not be a perfect mix it might not be a perfect mix you can do that if you have a mixer you can plug the microphone then you can mix fine tune and run it through a computer i mean it's endless you can do all kinds of cool stuff but for 20 bucks you can't beat it so hope this helps you out and have a good one and i have other videos on my channel and you can click on my profile and it's uh, Craig Anthony Drums on YouTube and I do a lot of U-Kit stuff on there so have a good one.